the Thoughty OT podcast. For my brain to just believe that what it's experiencing is okay is a really unusual experience for me because mm. I've been told my entire life that my experiences are not normal. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I don't want to be typical, but I would like to be accepted and part of the mm. tribe and, you know, have mm. that emotional experience of people thinking that my experience is okay. And, you know, I don't like being singled out as the different one in yeah. a group, you know, yeah. all, all the time, which I still happens. You love it. Yeah. You like being yeah, the different I'm fine one. With that. I'm, I'm a bit of an attention whore. I love it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll take that. But no, I, I, I agree with you. I think there's a lot of expectations that people put on you and they're, they're sometimes just the most bizarre things like. If you don't have a car and you don't drive to work every morning and do a nine to five job and come home and relax and do something relaxing or wake up and go to the gym in the morning, it's like anything else or I'll have a house and have independent living and all of those kind of things. If you don't have all of those separate aspects and you don't go out socializing, you don't have all these these crazy, very restrictive like life norms that people identify with they ultimately always like label you as either not achieving or doing too much and i've had these these situations many times in my life because people around me would be like you need to take it easy on yourself you're having a tough time like you know if, if i'm going through something um or even just in general like you 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 are a workaholic and you do do all of this stuff all the time like <laughs> You need to take a break. You need to step back. You know, even therapists might say that. Every time, without fault, every time that I do that, I always feel worse. Always feel dysregulated. Like it's 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 funny to me because I'm typically not like I don't really fit any anywhere in those kind of norms that people have. You know, I I if I'm able to, I will wake up midday and work into the and work and do my things up until you know perhaps a bit later in the in the evening or, or early in the morning i'm very happy with that that works for me totally i'm happy to work all day i'm happy to do my social media stuff when i'm in bed i'm happy to get up and do podcasts now and again i love all of that stuff that works that works for me but it's not what people kind of want to, to to push on me those those expectations like maybe you know maybe i don't want to drive everywhere maybe i want to get a train or a bus or you know even things around food maybe look it's it's probably not the ideal but you know i don't want to be cooking and meal prepping and stuff i'm happy just to have basic kind of healthy microwave meals that i can have in the evening yes. protein shakes Lots of very, very healthy snacks and fruit. I'm good with that. That that works for me. Or even going so far as interests. Like most of my interests are productivity related, like to do with work or to do with the gym or watching YouTube videos. Those are all things that that make me feel whole, make me feel good. But they're not typically things that kind of fit into this very um would you say distinct idea for what an adult life should be like but then ironically we have all of these you know novels and movies about people who are living their boring normal life mm. and then have some big weird experience right you know some midlife yeah. crisis or like yeah. realize that they're miserable so i don't even like what you're just, i totally get what you're saying about you know this is the life that we're expected to have and yeah like we're told that that's good but then we have this media about how eventually you're going to get tired then and want something yeah, else. And you, you have, want to go um, pursue an interest. Like, news articles about how people are depressed with life and they have this yeah. kind of capitalist. It's not working. Productivity related system. And it's so restrictive and like, well, just don't do that. Like try not to <laughs> find something that's not like that. And like, but it's, it's so socially reinforced as well. Mm -hmm. Like people, I think we we're talking about it on your podcast, that kind of people, very much reinforce this particular way of being and if you deviate in any way from what they think an adult should be like 
they're very quick to just make like little jokes, like little negs now and again. They'll just kind of poke you, you know, and, and people do it to me, e- even though I achieve in lots of lots of different areas of my life. People still make those comments. <laughs> it's, um, yeah. it's, it's, it's quite bizarre sometimes. You, you kind of just want to be like, sh- shake them and say, like, you, you don't need to fulfill all of these things to be an adult. Hey up YouTube, hope you have enjoyed this podcast clip so far, and if you have, why not check out the full episode which you can find on my YouTube channel or on other streaming services like Google, Apple, um, Spotify, you can find it pretty much anywhere you want to. If you have enjoyed this, make sure to like, subscribe, drop a comment down below, even if it's something simple like sending me a heart or an emoji, it really really does help me with the algorithm. All of my links to my socials, like my daily Instagram blog posts, are down in the description. But other than that, I hope you enjoy the rest of this clip. You don't need to like um, daytime, not daytime telly, reality TV shows. And oh God. yeah, really love scrolling on Instagram and, and TikTok and, and, you know, just doing all of the things that most people do. Like you don't need to, to, to have those interests. You can be interested in Nintendo... Nintendo Game Boy games and love playing that or Pokemon or Dungeons and Dragons or Warhammer or you know I'm I'm listing off very t- stereotypically <laughs> geeky nerdy things but it could be like thrash metal like you could love just going to raves on your own and having a dance and like people people just like they they feel so it's like they want to fulfill these social expectations to be accepted, but then they're not happy with their lives. Right. And they're like, why Why do I feel happy? It's because you're not following what you're interested in and what yeah. you want to do and what you want your life to look like. So that's like, I feel like that's one of my main messages for, you know, <laughs> the all the stuff I make, all the content I make is just like, do what you want. Because if you can be happy like if you can feel good day to day and like feel okay, like mm. a lot of the anxiety that I had was about feeling like what I, like that I was making the wrong choices, like that the things I was doing with my time were not the correct things and that they were not moving my life in the right direction. And as soon as yeah. I just decided to ignore, I mean, not that the anxiety disappeared in that moment, sure. but when I realized like, oh, this is not intrinsic to me. This is being put on me by outside forces mm. and that's not cool. And I don't want that. So, you know, being able to just be like, and it can, it can it, often I'll be from people want. that often be people that you, that want the best from you as well. Yeah. And the neurotypicals, yeah. then they just want you to succeed and they want you to, to feel good, but they just, they don't really get it. They don't really yeah. get what it's like to be you. Yeah. And you know, it's, it's one of those difficult situations where, you might have to go against what people tell you is best for you. You, you yeah. know, even close ones and people that you, you you care about. You know, I had situations perhaps when I was just starting off making YouTube videos that my dad was like, why are you doing this? Why are you spending all your time on this? You should be going and having a job or you should be doing this and that. And I'm like, well, I, I like doing this and this is going to be, you know, I'm going to grow it and, and, I did, and I have grown it to a point where, you know, it's enviable to a lot of people that I meet. And now my dad's like, "Oh, hey, this is great! Like, this is, you know, you're doing amazing." And I'm like, "Yeah, I know, I know." I've had that exact experience. Yeah. yeah. Well, you should have listened to me um, <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> about this.